Okay, so we now move on to question two. Butan tour can be paired using these two different methods. Um, and it wants me to comment on the atom economy of each method, given my reasons. So let's have a look. Method one, I take my alkene and I make my alcohol. This is a 100% atom economy. Um, it's an addition reaction. So 100% atom economy. For method two, my other product that I'm going to make for method two will be, I've replaced that bromine there with an OH group. So my other product is going to be sodium bromide. And therefore it is less than 100% atom economy because two products are produced from that one. Uh, okay, so stick the catalyst required for method one. Remember, method one was um, reacting the alkene with steam. Um, so you need an acid catalyst. Most people go for phosphoric acid. Average bond enthalpies can be used to calculate enthalpy changes. What is meant by the term average bond enthalpy is when one mole of bonds are, are well, one mole of gases covalent bonds um, are broken. Okie dokie. So next one, um, calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction for repairing one mole of butane 2 o by method one. So you've got to count up your bonds broken and your bonds made. So let's whiz back to that um, and have a look at method one. Um, the bonds broken, if you are going from here to here, is you're obviously breaking that one there your carbon-carbon double bond because you haven't got it there um, and also your two times OH bonds for water as well and you are making that bond that bond um, the OH bond as well there and the CH bond there as well so bonds broken my carbon-carbon double bond is 612. You've got your two times OH bonds, and that comes to two times 464. Um, and if you add all of those up, you get 1540. For your bonds mate, you've got a carbon carbon which comes in at the 347. You've also got yourself a CH. Whoops. Um, which will come in, whoops, at being 413. Um, you've got a CO, which is mm, 358. And finally, you have got an OH which comes in at being 464. If you add all of those up, it comes to 1582. And delta H for that reaction is going to be that number minus that number. And so your answer is minus 42. Sorry about the board issues. Okay, so we've now got a percentage yield <coughs> question. Um, if we have a look, we're gonna use method two to prepare uh, 3.552 grams of butane 2 old from 2 bromo butane, and it's only an 80% percentage yield. How much 2 bromo butane should we start with? So, we know from the equation that one mole of uh, 2 bromo butane makes one mole of butane 2 old, it's a one to one reaction. Um, so, let's have a look at the moles of butane 2 ol that I made and that is going to be 3.552 divided by the molar mass which is 74 which comes to 0.048 so that's the number of moles that I started with but it was only 80% yield so to work out the number of moles that I need to start with so moles of 2-bromobutane
is going to equal 0 0.048, but I need to scale it up for the fact that I only got an 80% yield. So it's times 100 divided by 80, which gives me 0 0.06 moles. And then for the mass of 2-bromobutane is going to be your number of moles times your molar mass, which is 136.9, and that comes to 8.21 grams, noting that they wanted it to three significant figures.